Far from the protective embrace of the sun, the edge of our solar system would seem to be a cold, empty, and dark place. The yawning space between us and the nearest stars was for a long time thought to be a frighteningly vast expanse of nothingness. Until recently, it was somewhere that humankind could only peer into from afar. Astronomers paid it only passing attention, preferring instead to focus their telescopes on the glowing masses of our neighboring stars, galaxies, and nebula. But two spacecraft built and launched in the 1970s have for the past few years been beaming back our first glimpses from this strange region we call interstellar space. As the first man-made objects to leave our solar system, they are venturing into uncharted territory, billions of kilometers from home. No other spacecraft has traveled as far. Voyager 1 probe discovered the whisper of interstellar space. Yes, you guessed it, we are once again talking about the probes Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, which in travel for 44 years now have long since left the heliosphere, that sort of magnetic shell inflated by the solar wind that surrounds our planetary system up to distances of 100 astronomical units, and from there they still find some energy to continue to transmit information about the hostile environment that surrounds them. In particular, this time it is the Voyager 1 probe that draws our attention. Launched in September of 1977, the Voyager 1 spacecraft flew by Jupiter in 1979 and then Saturn in late 1980. Traveling at about 61,000 km per hour, Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause in August of 2012. Although it's still sending data back to Earth, most of Voyager 1's instruments have now been powered down and the craft is expected to go entirely dead by 2025 at the latest. But its incredible journey isn't over. Now its instruments have detected the constant drone of interstellar gas, plasma waves, according to Cornell University-led research published in Nature Astronomy. Examining data slowly sent back from more than 23 billion kilometers away, Stella koch Oker, a Cornell doctoral student in astronomy, has uncovered the emission. It's very faint and monotone because it is in a narrow frequency bandwidth, Oker said. We're detecting the faint, persistent hum of interstellar gas. This work allows scientists to understand how the interstellar medium interacts with the solar wind, Oker said, and how the protective bubble of the solar system's heliosphere is shaped and modified by the interstellar environment. After entering interstellar space, the spacecraft's plasma wave system detected perturbations in the gas. But in between those eruptions caused by our own roiling sun, researchers have uncovered a steady, persistent signature produced by the tenuous near vacuum of space. The interstellar medium is like a quiet or gentle rain, said senior author James Cords, the George Feldstein Professor of Astronomy. In the case of a solar outburst, it's like detecting a lightning burst in a thunderstorm, and then it's back to a gentle rain. Oker believes there is more low-level activity in the interstellar gas than scientists had previously thought, which allows researchers to track the spatial distribution of plasma, that is, when it's not being perturbed by solar flares. Cornell research scientist Shami Chatterjee explained how continuous tracking of the density of interstellar space is important. We've never had a chance to evaluate it. Now, we know we don't need a fortuitous event related to the sun to measure interstellar plasma, Chatterjee said. Regardless of what the sun is doing, Voyager is sending back detail. The spacecraft is saying, here's the density I'm swimming through right now, and here it is now, and here it is now, and here it is now. Voyager is quite distant and will be doing this continuously. This may seem like an unimportant finding, but what this aging probe revealed about the boundary between the heliosphere and the interstellar medium has provided fresh clues about how our solar system formed and how life on Earth is even possible. The solar wind and heliosphere, in fact, also keeps out a life-threatening bombardment of radiation and deadly high-energy particles coming from deep space such as cosmic rays. Cosmic rays are protons and atomic nuclei streaming through space at nearly the speed of light. They can be generated when stars explode, when galaxies collapse into black holes, and other cataclysmic cosmic events. The region outside our solar system is thick with a steady rain of these high-speed subatomic particles, which would be powerful enough to cause deadly radiation poisoning on a less sheltered planet. 
It is therefore very important to know what is happening in those remote regions, and in this have so far proved to be of exceptional help Voyager probes which are in practice the only witnesses of what is happening up there, where the solar wind and the interstellar wind continue their eternal struggle. If you would like to help improve the quality of our content, please check us out on Patreon. We would like to say a big thank you to all those who show their support.